So now we are going to increase the temperature of the earth to 100 degrees Celsius. Not forever, but not for long, just for 5 seconds. So think about how this high temperature affects our ecosystem and what will happen to life on earth. So after these 5 seconds are over, will everything be as it was before? How long will it take to recover? So today, let's talk about the effect if the temperature of the earth is a 100 degrees Celsius. Just think about the temperature of the environment during the summer season when there are maximum droughts. I really don't need to tell you how hard it is for us to bear. The trouble we are going through, the average temperature of the earth, which is 13.9 degrees Celsius, varies from region to region. If we divide into zones, there are areas where the maximum temperature is present. For instance, the scenic flaming mountains in China's western Xinjiang province recorded an 80 degrees Celsius surface temperature on July 16th, 2023. There are almost no living beings in those areas. The temperature in deserts is similar, with scorching heat prevailing during high sun. Hot month average temperatures are usually between 29 and and 35 degrees Celsius, with midday readings of 43 to 46 degrees Celsius being common. The world's absolute heat records, over 50 degrees Celsius, are generally in hot deserts, where the heat potential can be the highest on the planet. So even though there are still temperatures like this in some parts of the Earth's overall temperature, hasn't reached such extreme levels. However, it would be impossible for the temperature of the Earth to reach 100 degrees Celsius simultaneously. If it were to happen, disastrous outcomes would result, likely leading to widespread destruction of ecosystems, loss of life, and irreparable damage to the planet's environment. Dry forest areas will ignite simultaneously, leading to widespread fires. Many plants and animals will be burnt and die as a result. More than 80% of bird species flying in the sky could perish due to the extreme heat. Mammals might endure the temperature to some extent, but severe burns would afflict their bodies, like all victims. As humans, we must remain vigilant and find ways to stay safe. Seeking shelter and taking precautions are essential. However, what will happen if you don't take precautions? Exposure, even for a short time, will result in severe burns to the skin. Inhalation of the hot air can cause severe internal burns from the nose to the lungs. The heart and circulatory system may also be affected, with some patients experiencing heart failure. Most of the aquatic organisms living in reservoirs will die because the boiling point of fresh water is 100 degrees Celsius. Deep sea fish species may not be significantly impacted by the increase in temperature as the boiling point of water changes with pressure, which is higher in deep water bodies. However, many fish living in shallow seas will likely perish. The melting of glaciers in the North and South Poles is inevitable, with an estimated 1-2% to reduction in glacier volume. This melting could lead to damage to small islands like the Maldives and Indonesia. Now that the 5 seconds are over and the temperature has dropped, clouds will form due to the evaporated water in the oceans and rivers, leading to quick rainfall. Low pressure conditions in various areas will likely result in strong cyclones. As a result of these events, the ecosystem will suffer significant damage and many living organisms will die. This scenario highlights the potential consequences of Earth's temperature increasing to 100 degrees Celsius. While such extreme temperatures may not occur all at once, it is conceivable that over many years, Earth could indeed become a planet with such high temperatures. This transformation could take at least a billion years. Now let's talk about Earth's temperature. Last year, the World Meteorological Organization warned that in the coming years, Earth's inhabitants, led by humans, will face significant challenges. When they mention mankind entering unknown territory, 
it signifies enduring many days beyond normal conditions. Over the next five years, global temperatures are expected to soar to record levels, posing severe health threats, disrupting daily activities, leading to significant water and food shortages, and possibly necessitating states of emergency akin to those during the COVID-19 pandemic. Global mean temperatures are forecasted to continue rising and move further away from the familiar climate stated Leon Hermanson, a UK Met office scientist who spearheaded the WMO report. The Earth's temperature will not spike abruptly, but due to our own actions, it will gradually increase. Considering this, it becomes crucial and urgent for us to evaluate the seriousness of the situation and determine the necessary measures to address it. So, use your brain. Goodbye.